Hey everybody, SRA Schaefer here, and welcome to One Night Stand. This game was recommended to me by a pretty good friend of mine, and uh, don't have a huge idea what it's about, other than being a one night stand. Um, he didn't tell me a whole lot about it, but uh, let's go ahead and get it started. Yeah. My head. Lots of drink happened last night. Yep. What's that noise? My phone. Where's my phone? I've been like it in the morning before. Hearing the phone going off. Oh, okay. Okay. Mate. What the hell happened to you last night? Okay, so Gary is mad. I have no idea, but thanks a lot for waking me up. Phone's about to die. It's pretty much the story of my life right now. So, Crap, my phone's about to die. Better plug it in before the battery runs out. Can't plug my phone into that. Or that. Has to be around here someplace. Ooh, he didn't recognize this bedside table. Is that a condom wrapper? I believe it is. Okay, so this might be the aftermath of the one night stand. Let's uh, let's see. This isn't my room. My clothes. They're all over the floor. Am I? I'm completely naked. Yay. Ooh. Okay. Guess I got lucky last night. In her room. You hope this is her room. <laughs> but who is she? Mm -hmm. All the girls were so pissed off. I can't believe I ditched my date so you could just bail on us. Sounds like drunk me was up to no good last night. Hate to let my mates down, but I guess my mind must have been elsewhere. Sorry, I honestly don't know what happened to me last night, but guess what? I pulled. That should shut him up. Could she be one of the girls that Gary was talking about? Even if she was, I don't know anything about her. I can't even remember her name. It's not a good thing. I really can't remember anything that happened last night. I've never been that bad. I don't even know where the hell I am right now. And this hangover isn't helping. Mm -hmm. Bullshit. One drink and you're off betting women. You're going to need a better excuse for ditching all of your mates than that. He doesn't believe me. He sounds pretty pissed off. Gary's not going to take my word for it. I could take a sneaky picture. Uh, no. No, you don't do that. That's, uh, that's not good. I'm not going to stoop to that. No. The phone died anyway, so you probably wouldn't be able to anyway. Uh, well, let's try to wake her up, I guess. Just throw the duvet over me. Okay. Duvet. Hmm. I don't I don't even know. Like knowing the knowing what the word duvet means is kind of uh It's a little embarrassing. She's gone. Maybe she's a little freaked out about all this. I know I am. Still I really didn't really get a good look at her. Maybe she wants me to leave. Okay, so looking through her wallet. 
Okay, so I'm going to do this just on the basis that this is a game. You should not, in reality, go through somebody's wallet. But for the, the interest of the game, just to see what happens, I'm going to go ahead and do it. An ID card, her name is Robin. And 22 years old, so, okay, you're not a pedophile. It's a funny looking ID card though, I wonder if she's legit. 24 or 22 years old. That's what to say about what I expected. She seemed to be about that age from what I could tell. Don't normally drink wine, especially red. I don't know, I'm not a big fan of red wine either. I guess drunk me doesn't care what he's pouring in the tank. A Rosa Reserva sounds fancy. It's half empty. Oh, hi. Hey. Okay. Uh, hey. Sorry about dashing out of the room like that. I hope it didn't freak you out or anything. It's okay. Just a little shocked when I was suddenly smothered by the duvet. I... It's a comforter. Stop calling it a duvet. Not that fancy. Sorry, as soon as I woke up, I just really needed to dash to the bathroom. Heavy night of drinking, I could understand that. I'd rather not go into it if that's okay with you. That's perfectly fine. Not really. My phone woke me up. I don't know what that noise was. It woke me up too. Sorry. Don't worry about it. A little awkward. That's, uh, she's probably hungover. It's probably a safe thing. Do you have a hangover? Yeah, just a little one. Mostly just feel nauseous after an out I like that. Well, I'm glad I made you nauseous. <laughs> what about you? You don't look too great. Uh, could play it off or just play the sympathy, we'll play the sympathy card. I feel awful. Not surprised you already had quite a few drinks before we met last night. Is that so? Gary said I only had one drink before. Is there anything I can get you that might make you feel better? Coffee. Coffee always makes it better. A cup of coffee would help me shake off this hangover. Nice. I'll put the kettle on and see if we have some instant coffee. Okay. Instant coffee sucks. But, you know... Being at their house, it's not like I have a choice. She seems... Eh, she seems pretty cool. I don't know about her or where I am. Ooh. Okay, again, this is not what you should do. Not what you should do. We're going to look through it, but... In reality, if you're in this situation, don't go through her stuff. It's open on her Facebook page, convenient. 67 friends, that doesn't seem like many. Many by Facebook standards, anyway. Her latest status says Robin checked into Paradox Bar. Never heard of that place, is that where we met? See, this is this is why you don't do it. Someone's trying to send her a Facebook message, so you gotta you gotta get out of there, okay? <laughs> uh, good choice. Don't go through her underwear drawer. <laughs> helps. Thanks. It smells good. Well, it's not Starbucks, but hopefully it'll help shift that hangover. Well, instant coffee is definitely not Starbucks, um, but I would not pay for Starbucks prices. <laughs> so, we'll see. It's delicious. It's instant. He's lying. 
I see you've managed to put some clothes on. Yeah. I'm naked from the waist down, though. You know, you shouldn't have spoiled me with that fancy bottle of wine. Fancy bottle of wine? Well, that's not a fancy bottle. No? Sorry to disappoint you. I saved the fancy stuff for special occasions. Okay, so... I guess I'm not a special occasion, then. So... Try not to take that as an insult. I don't normally drink wine. We didn't drink that last night. Just a bottle I keep by my bedside. I like to pour myself a glass when I read. Okay. Looks like I can't blame this hangover on the wine then. Feels awkward again. We should have asked her about last night. She must know something. It was quite a night. Yeah, it was alright. By the way, thanks. Huh? Last night I was feeling pretty down. I had always brushed off the idea of meeting up with a stranger through a dating app. So I made it through dating app. That must be how we met. And then having to, the guy bail on me in the middle of the date. So she got stood up. What an asshole. Okay, I think we can assume that the guy wasn't me. I was about ready to jump into a taxi, go home, and shut myself in for days. I'm really glad you showed up. You brought me, you bought me a drink, you listened to me, and it cheered me up. I guess the night turned out, turned around thanks to you. So she got stood up, and I stepped in. Maybe this explains why I accidentally abandoned Gary and my friends last night. Even if I can't remember anything we talked about. Don't worry about it. Although I think I ended up abandoning my friends by accident. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. They're just a little pissed with me this morning. I didn't realize you were there with friends. You didn't mention anything about them at all. I was in a bar with Gary and a couple other people, I think. Huh? Ooh, you think? Seems like you don't remember much of what happened last night. Okay. So... Hey, honesty really should pay off here. So, not really, no. Really? You must be pretty confused then. Yeah? I'll fill you in on what I know. We met around 11 p.m. by the bar at Paradox. You'd had a few drinks, but you didn't seem too drunk. You bought me a drink, and we found a secluded spot to chat. We chatted for ages about being interrupted, even in a bar as loud as Paradox. At the end of the night, we both had quite a few drinks. Neither, us, neither of us were in a state to make good decisions, so this is a bad decision. When the taxi arrived, we both jumped in, and I guess we ended up here. Okay. It's everything that she can recall. We didn't know anything that happened leading up to that. Sorry. No, it's fine. Thanks for helping me fill in the blanks. Listen. About last night, yeah. Going out, meeting a total stranger, and bringing them here. Home. This isn't something, something I normally do. In fact, I've never done this before. She's never had a one-night stand. Personally, neither have I. You ever done anything like this before? Honestly, no. I have never been like that. No, I have not. That's reassuring. Makes me feel a bit less uncomfortable about the whole thing.
It was that awkward stuff again. I guess what I'm trying to say is I don't want this to be typical. I mean, you're still here. You didn't sneak out before I woke up or whilst I was out of the room. I don't know. Clearly you were nice to me last night. But part of me thought you'd want to leave as soon as you woke up. But you're still here. I mean that in a good way, of course. She's happy that I'm still here. Guess I managed to make a good impression, all things considered. Listen, we really didn't get to know each other last night. I ran it about my date and life troubles. And I've talked enough about me. Tell me about you. Okay. Mm hmm. You know, this might sound strange, but if we get to know each other a little better, then maybe this could be different. Like, maybe this doesn't have to be as weird as just two strangers hooking up. Okay. Sure. Hobbies, friends, or personality? Hobbies. Uh, huh? Be right back. Oh, I made her sick. <laughs> Great. Magazines, music, and gaming mags in here. Gaming mags, okay. Some of the articles sound pretty interesting. Shame I don't have time to read them now. I'm assuming that's a condom wrapper. Pulp Fiction. It's actually a pretty good movie. This, this is a cinema classic. Good choice. It's a nice guitar. I bet this is worth a lot of money. Probably. They can know how to play a few, a few chords, but now really isn't the time for that. Are you okay? Not really. Sorry, I just felt really sick all of a sudden. Yeah, when I started talking about me. Maybe it was something I ate last night or too much to drink. Offer some help. Can I get you anything? Thanks, but I just really need to get some rest. I hate to be rude, but I'd like to be alone. Mm. You sure? Yeah, please don't take it the wrong way. You've been a real gent even this morning when you could have easily just left. Sorry to cut this short. Just need to get some rest. Okay. Quickly gather up the remainder of my belongings. Okay, I've got all my stuff. Cool. There's a bus station just down the road from here. You should be able to get home from there. Thanks, Robin. Listen, don't take this the wrong way. You've been really nice this whole time. I'm grateful for that. Um, and she seems like a nice girl, so let's uh, see if we can just be friends. Yeah, I think so. Don't get me wrong, I don't mean friends with benefits or anything like that. But you made me feel better in a moment of need. And I'm grateful for that. So yeah, let's be friends. Awesome. Okay, get her belongings, exchange information with Robin. She sees you to the front door and gives you a hug. Despite the hangover, you enjoy getting to know her a little more. You walk out onto the street and to the nearby bus station.
guys play the game it's a donation download so uh, you can choose to donate how much you think the game is worth um, and I will let you guys play out the other scenarios so please don't forget to like and subscribe again SRA Schaefer here see you guys in the next one bye bye